All right, we're back. We are getting ready to go talk to Swansea, but before we talk to Swansea, I'm gonna try something just for to spice things up. I'm gonna switch into, so the outfit I'm wearing is a pre-order outfit. And I'm gonna switch out of the pre-order outfit and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna play a good portion of the game now in the non-pre-order outfit. So this is, if you didn't pre-order the game, this is what your character looks like. Without the hat, a different outfit. So I'm gonna be playing the rest of the game dressed like this. Now I'm gonna go talk to Swansea and then I'm gonna go to my house in the West End. Visit Mama. Do I have the, the last Braille book? No, I don't have it yet. Hello, Jonathan. How are things on the West End front? Complicated, my friend. The rich and powerful feel threatened by the disease and have asked me to put an end to it. Yes. It is odd how resolving a crisis suddenly increases in urgency when it affects those who matter. Do you know Aloysius Dawson, the famous tycoon, is well-versed in vampire and occult knowledge? No, I did not. But that is no surprise. For half a century, it has been quite the trend for English nobility to join secret societies and occult circles. Did he contact the Brotherhood of St. Paul, try to join your group? It would not surprise me, but I am certain he's never been a member. But Aloysius Dawson is only a rich merchant. Yes, richer than Croesus. Wealth is more respected than title these days, even in England. Okay. It looks like the epidemic is spreading to the western districts of London. I am trying to locate the source of the infection. It won't be an easy task, my friend. This disease is highly contagious. Do you not think epidemiology could be helpful in this matter? To retrace the origin of infection through time and topology? If anyone can perform such a miracle, it will be you, Dr. Reed. Since this epidemic is evidently linked to the vampire curse, we must find the original carrier to understand where it comes from. I admire your logic, Jonathan, but be careful. Rationality, when it comes to your kind, is not always a reliable lens. Right. Now. Does the Brotherhood of St. Paul know anything about the Ascalon Club? Well, I'm afraid that's unlikely. Ascalon is a sensitive topic, and whatever material the Brotherhood has, I may not have access to. Who could answer me then? Usher Tooltree, our current primate, may be the only one able to answer you. He's a discreet man who lives in the West End. Okay, maybe I'll look for him. Thank you for your time, Edgar. Alright, now. Bring back the Braille notes to Mason. Now, I don't have the last Braille note, I don't believe. I'll just take a peek over here. It wouldn't be here, it would be here. And old letter, key, Emily's love letter. Okay, I read that already. Um, so I don't have the last Braille note. Okay, and I gave the Braille, I've been giving the Braille notes to the dude, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be here anymore if I had it. Because I spoke, it would be here if I had it. Because I give them to him, so... I don't have them. If I had found it, it would still be here then. If I had found it and not given it to him, it would still be here. Now, what's up here? What in the hell? Okay. I do know what's up here. I just... Alright, now, we're going out, I guess, the front door. And just take a quick look and see what we got here. Nobody's sick here. All right, nobody's sick here. Nobody's sick here. All right, yeah, I've, I've got every neighborhood is doing well. Um, I don't think I have any new quests. Let me take a quick look at the uh, sides. No sides here. 
no sides here no sides here only thing left is his and finding the last book all right I'm fairly certain I know where the last book is. Now, I'm going to the West End, which the most discreet way is to run, or the most discreet, the most efficient way is to run past uh, my girlfriend's house there. Now, let me take a quick look. I don't think I can zoom across. I don't think I can. I don't think that's a thing being able to just zoom across. I'll try. I'll run right here and see if I can zoom across. Well, nah, I can't just zoom across, okay. You dudes are okay, I checked. So I'm gonna go up the stairs over here. I'm gonna get to my house. Okay, well, we got guys to kill. Nah, we're not. We're just gonna kill who we have to kill. We're not gonna kill anyone we don't have to kill to do what we gotta do. So. So we're in Finsbury Gate, which is. Right, we don't have to go in there, I don't believe. I don't know what is in there, though. I don't actually know what is in there. Right. Was that is he glowing? Yeah, he was. Okay. Now, some people have respawned. It's very interesting that there are people that respawn when you haven't slept yet. Stupid! Watch it! It's just killing! Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. Now let's face this way. And yeah, I need to go keep going straight. And that'll take me right to the West End. This is Lady Ashbury's house. So I'm gonna go. I wanted to hit. Okay, wow, there's a lot going on there. I wanted to hit a thousand before I leveled up, but it's not gonna happen. I mean, I could, but it's not gonna happen. Cause I don't have anything else to do and I can't, I mean, exploring areas I haven't been to yet is super dangerous until I level up. So I'm gonna go ahead and level up. So I'm, hit, I'm headed to my mansion. And then after I do my mansion, then... Alright, so after I do my mansion... Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, we are home. Like I... We did talk to the butler. And we did loot all of this there crap. Are rumors of abductions in the West End at night. Let me just take a, just take a quick yes, pop. Yes, Mr. Jonathan. Yeah, just take a quick, quick look at this. All right, so all of this is, yeah, we did talk to him. So let's see what he knows. I'm currently investigating sources of the epidemic in this part of town. Do you know anything useful? Not really, except all the McPherson's servants resigned a few days ago. They feared becoming infected, they said. The McPhersons? Where do they live? I think it's a rich house near the railway bridge in the southern part of the district. Got it. Okay, now he's all he's all up. All done. Alright. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. Right, I'll do what I can. Now let's go upstairs. Anything here? Just a mirror. All right, let's go now. 
got a few things going on here. Um, well, we can't go in here. Um, there's mom. Can I loot that? Yes, I can. All right, now. Aubrey, I'm not sure visiting Italy is a good idea this time of the year. All right, now. I believe when she goes in here. All right, go, go ahead. She's going in there. Now, I can go out here. And I can listen in. Your father and I have spoken about your fiance, Mary. We believe he'll be an honorable husband for you. We'll set a date for the marriage then. That way, I'm sure one of my children will give me grandchildren. I understand your thirst for knowledge, Jonathan, and your father and I are proud of it. But you are not that young anymore, my son. When will I meet your soulmate? You can ascribe my romantic tendencies to my French origins if you want, Aubrey. But I'll never cease to believe in a match made in heaven, my beloved. I really wish you could meet her mother. You would love her. Okay, so we've got skulls back here. You took a quick look at where I'm at. Okay. So this is this is, we've been here before. Now I need to talk to mother before I rest. Is she still? Yeah, she's over here. All right, let's talk to mom. Mary? Mother, good evening. Jonathan, is it you? Where have you been, my prodigal son? I'm right here, mother. I'm finally home. Yes. But this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary? She... She is gone, Mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. Okay. Have you returned to Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral? I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait. I think I went back once. And you were there too. And Mary? No. That can't be true. It was just a bad dream, Mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. All right. Mother, do you know what's been going on in this area? Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean, you get lost? I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but he leaves me there sometimes, and I have trouble finding the way back. Wow, okay. She's healthy. I'm just curious. I'm not going to, but yeah. She's a level one. Tell me, Mother, how are you? All alone in this big house with only Avery to take care of you. I'm sad most of the time. Sad that you have left me here alone. Sad that you don't tell me when you come or go. I'm so sorry, Mother. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was coming home. I was home. London, the Thames, and then it happened. What happened, Johnny? 
I lost my way. Somewhere between the boat and the house, my life changed completely. You should have told me, Johnny. I would have understood. You always were a secretive little boy. Okay. Well, I can't tell her what's going on, so... It's not gonna help. Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous and her name is of no importance. And yes, she is also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her into my home. Wow, is she dead too? That's crazy. Do you need anything, mother? Can I help you? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty and dead eyes. Do you think Avery is right? Do you think I should take better care of you? I don't blame you, but you abandoned me, son. A mother should not survive her children. It's unbearable to know you're not here anymore. Wow. I know I have failed you since I returned. I even watched you bury Mary from a distance. From now on, I will protect you. You have my word. You don't have to apologize to me, Johnny. Do you think I did not notice how much you have changed? Have I changed that much, Mother? Am I still your son? You are still, and you'll always be. Despite your pale skin, your bloody eyes and that echoing sadness in your voice. Wow, okay. Anything else? Um, yeah, she's good here, she's good there. I... Why do you say Mary is visiting you, Mother? You know that's impossible. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. Wow. But I'm not dead, Mother. I'm really here, talking to you, trying not to cry. Oh, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this. But of course you're dead, my darling boy. Just look at you, as pale as my Mary. So Mary was visiting her. I'm convinced that Mary was really visiting her until we put a stop to all of that. Do you really see Mary and Father? Do you also see me as one of the dead? Yes. For many years, it was just a game. Since your father left us without a word, I took to the habit of speaking to him. Yes, I remember. I sometimes spied on you and listened to you talking with father in the garden. It made me so angry then. But it was just a game, wasn't it? Yes, it was. But since then, my poor dead Mary visited me in my room. She led me to her grave, and there you were. I now know the dead can haunt us. Wow. I'm so sorry. You did not deserve to endure this. Mary should never have done this to you. That's true, my son. But you know what the worst part is? I liked it when Mary spoke in my head. Now she is silent. And it makes me so sad. Should I leave you alone? Just ask. And I swear you'll never hear from me again. Oh no, Johnny. You're always welcome in this house. And one day, 
when I finally die, we'll all be together again, just as Mary promised us. Wow, okay, well that's not gonna happen quite that way. Okay, that's weird. Um, Alright. Goodbye, Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. Alright, so I'm very yes, close. Jonathan. Spending next summer in France. Absolutely. Why not? Alright, so we're gonna go back to my room. And we're gonna loot my room. We'll refill. All right, what else do we have? I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I'm gonna loot the rest of the room first. Okay, small key. And that is probably the key to that room over there. So let's go do that first. And let's go do this. And we'll loot this room. The shillings. Okay, there's Queen Eye. Okay. Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing in the fireplace. Can't pick up that book. Nothing on this bookshelf. So we got here. Right. And we got a letter. Okay. Reed Mansion, my dear and beloved John, when you receive this letter, you'll be 35 and I'll be long gone. I feel a little, a little silly writing you this letter that you won't read for a few years. I struggled for a long time about how best to write, write you this until I remembered the puzzle and riddles I invented for you when you were a boy. Oh, how you love to solve these enigmas. Well, I found it would be a good idea to propose to you one yeah. final, to pros, propose to you one final game. It will be probably, it will probably be less rewarding. No candles or exotic treasures if you decipher the game this time, but a greater treasure, perhaps the truth. This is my only attempt for you to explain why I chose to leave my family without an explanation. If you want to know why, simply play my little game. It is really up to you, my son. Rest assured that I love you. I promise my family was still was and still is everything to me i remember the first time i held you and your sister in my arms my treasures my jewels to see you grow up play and laugh filled my heart with joy every time i went back to our home i could have killed to protect my to protect you my son my daughter my wife but fate found me in the end and i had to make a tough decision the worst was to disappear without a word i decided to do it anyway and soon i'll be gone for good don't ask i don't ask for forgiveness but for understanding if you want to know more all you have to do is remember how happy you were back in those days if you want to find the next message think green grass and tall trees on sunny sundays all right i remember sunday walks in the park so by the way that is actually the letter that i was looking for when i was finding when i was fighting those um those level 30s in the park i was trying to find the place where my father hid the other letter because i do know that it was there so this must be mary's room with the flowers out front and we can't go in it Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna pop in here for a moment and we're gonna see if there's anything I can do. All right, I've got some breakdowns. I can break down this ink pen. I can break down these, cigarette case and watch. All right, now, what can we do? The dragon bane, I don't, I'm sure I can't make anything yet. I need a good handle part. And the uh, remarkable dagger is, yeah, I need two more tiny good handle parts before I can do anything with that. So, and the gun, I don't have the barker. Yeah, I don't have any, I can't do anything with the gun until I find a better gun. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to do anything until I find a better gun than what I have. Treatments, I'm, oh, I gotta make, I can't make any more um, light blood serum. Uh, let's, okay. 
Now, I gotta check my serums. Because I think I'm not equipped properly. Yeah, this... I want to put the, the heavy blood serum in here. So... So, the blood serum. I want that in there. Alright, that's what I want. I want my heavies first. And then I'll put the others later. Um... So I don't have a secondary main hand weapon. I really don't use other main hand weapons, to be honest with you. I have nothing else I would use. Um, I mean, I could take another, I, I honestly could take another one of my weapons that I have. I honestly could take another one of my weapons that I have and can and use it as a, um, as a primary damage dealer. So this one, well, this is a lot of damage. But I could level up one of these to do... I could level up one of these to do a lot of damage. Like... Common Machete. Yeah, all of these are used. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and level up now. And I'm going to level up at least one of my... I'm going to try to level up my attacks. And then I'm going to level up some of my support. All right, so I got to put money into my attacks. Um, now, let's see what I can do with this. Now, how much to level this up? This is 3,000, right? I'm very much thinking about leveling up Blood Cauldron. All right, we'll worry about that. Now, did I ever level this up? I did. Um, this is 2,000. I might level that up. I might try to get that up. Um, this I want to level up, but I'm not crazy about it yet. I want to, yeah, I got a lot of these that I want to level up. This one, because this is 4,000. This is going to take most of it if I level that up, but it's a very, very powerful, it's a very powerful weapon. Because this does a ton of damage. This is like my main damage dealer after, after my heavy, this is my main damage dealer. Um, and this... Right. See, this is it would have been smarter for me to take this ability. To take the blood I don't know why I chose chose to go with um control for longer. Cause it doesn't I mean because it doesn't actually I don't think this does damage. You know what I mean? It just you know, it doesn't, and you release it as soon as you, um, yeah, you release it. You release it as soon as you do damage. So this one, I'm not crazy, but I don't really feel like I need to level this up anymore because the control doesn't matter. How much control I put into it doesn't matter. Um, I don't feel I need to level that up anymore. So... Um, and I do want to put some into some of these. I really need to put points into some of these. But what I am going to do, I'm definitely going to level up. Now, let's see what this one does. All right. I never did these. All right. I would like to put points in autophagy. Um, I would like to put points in autophagy, but that's not very much right now. That's not the main deal right now. So the main deal is to level up Blood Cauldron. Alright. Alright, so the main deal is to put points into Blood Cauldron and to put points into Blood Spear. So we're gonna go ahead and do Blood Spear, which is gonna take most of our abilities, take most of our points. But we're gonna do it. Alright. So we took Blood Spear. Alright, now Blood Cauldron. No, we took Blood Cauldron. Blood Spear is going to take a lot of our points. If we take Blood Spear, we're not going to be able to level up any more of our main ability. So we're not going to be able to level up our Pounce. Let me take a look at the Pounce anyway. We're not going to level up the Pounce, which we do use, but we don't use it a lot. Um, right. We use it, but it's not, it's not one of our main abilities. So we are going to go ahead and level up Blood Spear. Oh, we already did level up Blood Spear. Blood Spear is leveled up already. I didn't realize that. So I can't level up Blood Spear yet. 
so we did do okay it's this we just leveled up blood spirit it's blood cauldron all right so let's go ahead and do blood cauldron all right blood cauldron is leveled up all right we're level 22 now okay um so it was yeah this is the one i don't feel the need to put another point into that because it doesn't it doesn't do what i wish it did um now we it's 200 2000 i could level this up but it's it's just not a main ability really not a main ability um so the main thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be putting the rest into these now let's see i need blood capacity i need physical props i need more stamina um the bite stuff is okay but it's not crazy because i get most of my blood from uh i get most of my blood from my weapons um being able to carry more syringes is not a bad idea what's this this is big thirst increased blood absorption when using bite in combat i don't use bite in combat very much it's an it's an opening move that i do sometimes um increase the blood capacity is good increase um physical prowess is good and increase body condition so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my health all right we're gonna do the health all right health one we're gonna do the stamina for one all right all right we're gonna do the blood capacity for one all right now we're 20 points from being able to level up another one of those hard biting we don't need um we might do medical bag so we're gonna yeah we're gonna hit the medical bag and get the blood get the capacity up to uh four serums all right and i'm now on, i'm still only level 23 wow okay all right Okay. Okay. So let's see. Um, we're still healthy. Here. Yeah. This is uh, this is West End. We're healthy in the West End. All right. We're healthy on the docks. We're healthy on the Pembroke. And we are healthy in Whitechapel. All right, and we're still healthy in the West End. All right. Well, we haven't done the judgment. All right. Okay, we're good here. Okay, we're good. All right. And that, my friends, is going to be the end of this particular episode. I will thank you now for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.